हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पोलराइजेशन बाय डबल रिफ्रैक्शन लेट्स वेगेन द फेनोमेन ऑफ डबल रिफ्रैक्शन इन कैलसाइड क्रिस्टल वाज डिस्कवर्ड बाय द साइंटिस्ट बार्थोलिनियस in the year of 1969 what was uh, his observation he placed a calcite crystal over a dot mark on a white paper in that of white paper there will be a dot mark and a calcite crystal was placed over that of dot mark this is calcite crystal so that two images are seen when we viewed through that of calcite crystal that is the dot mark over that of dot, dot mark calcite crystal was placed so above that of calcite crystal we see two images these two images are due to the phenomenon of double refraction and these two are produced just like o ray and e ray ordinary ray and extraordinary ray ordinary ray those rays uh, which obey the laws of refraction these are called ordinary rays and uh, those rays uh, with uh, are not obeying uh, the law of refraction then we call it as extraordinary rays if uh, the crystal is rotated slowly about one axis passing through that of uh, o image ordinary ray image the e image moves through that of circular uh, path in that of crystal but that o image remains stationary as we show the velocity of o ray is same in all direction but that of uh, e ray is different in different directions within that of crystal that was the observations by the scientist bartholinus and he proposed the phenomenon of double refraction in calcite crystal after that and again it is observed that by the phenomenon of uh, double refraction we can uh, achieve polarized electromagnetic wave from that of on polarized electromagnetic wave so how it is uh, found that if uh, a beam of unpolarized light is incident on the surface of calcite crystal then it is splits of that is uh, separates into two rays one is ordinary ray and another one is extraordinary ray and that the phenomenon is called double refraction or by refringence that the phenomenon we call double refraction or by refringence and these two rays that is ordinary ray and extraordinary ray are linearly polarized in mutually perpendicular directions in figure in figure we can uh, 
easily understood that uh, phenomenon. Uh, let us consider the principal section of a calcite crystal. What is the principal section? Principal uh, section is that plane of the calcite crystal which passes through that of optic axis of that of calcite crystal. As you know, uh, the optic axis is uh, that axis in that of calcite crystal uh, through which uh, when uh, electromagnetic wave propagates the phenomenon of uh, double refraction does not hold good means there will be the no splitting of uh, E ray and O ray these two are unique or in other words we can say the velocity of E ray and O ray are same in that of optic axis of that of calcite crystal. So, we choose the principal section the optic axis of that of calcite crystal that angle was 102 degree this angle 78 degree incident at the PQ unpolarized light representation of that of unpolarized light On polarized electromagnetic wave that is the component of uh, E vector. This is the di direction of propagation again another component mutually perpendicular to that of plane of incidence that is the dot on polarized light on polarized light. At that of uh, surface of that of calcite crystal, we show the phenomenon of uh, double refraction that is split up into two rays. Two rays. After that. We see the emergent rays as E ray and O ray. So, we get the polarized light from that of unpolarized light as these rays are parallel to that of uh, plane of paper another are perpendicular to that of plane of paper from that of unpolarized electromagnetic wave now we attain that of uh, polarized electromagnetic wave these two are uh, mutually perpendicular uh, with each other. These are linearly polarized electromagnetic waves. This is the point as R S. The normal are that of uh, calcite crystal. This is the angle of incident. I and the angle of uh, refraction as uh, that uh, O ray creates an angle as uh, R 1 and that uh, E ray creates an angle uh, R 2 R 1 R 2 are the angle of refractions of uh, 
O ray and uh, E ray respectively. For O ray using Snell's law using Snell's law here for O ray ordinary ray ordinary ray which obey the laws of refractions we can use Snell's law for that of O ray for O ray here sine of angle of incidence sin i divided by sin of angle of refraction r1 is equal to that is the refractive index for that of ore ore this is the refractive index refractive index for ore that is constant why it is constant because that uh, angle of refraction r1 does not depend upon that of angle of incidence that is why the refractive index for O ray is constant. Next for E ray for extraordinary ray here sine of angle of incidence to that of sine of angle of refraction for that of E ray it is R2 that is the refractive index for E ray mu E that is refractive index for extraordinary ray that is uh, not constant does not constant because it varies with the angle of incidence it varies with the angle of incidence generally we can say that uh, E ray does not obey the law of refraction the ratio of uh, sine of angle of incidence uh, to that of sine of angle of refraction that the refractive index generally refractive index is uh, the measure of that is velocity of uh, light in vacuum to that of velocity of light in uh, a medium refractive index uh, of any medium we compare uh, the velocity of uh, light uh, within that medium to that of velocity of uh, light uh, in that of uh, vacuum uh, so uh, it can be easily understood in case of that uh, calcite crystal calcite uh, crystal calcite crystal uh, is uh, an example of uh, uniaxial negative crystal So, so uh, for uh, calcite crystal, calcite uh, crystal that is uniaxial negative crystal, that is uniaxial negative uh, crystal any axial negative crystal uh, so for calcite crystal r1 is less than r2 therefore the refractive index the refractive index of o ray is greater than the refractive index of E ray. Similarly, the velocity of O ray is less than the velocity of E ray. 
as uh, the velocity relate to that of refractive index inversely so it can be shown that uh, the extraordinary ray travels faster than that of ordinary ray the extraordinary ray extraordinary ray travels faster than the ordinary ray within such crystals next for quartz for quartz quartz crystal that is the example of uniaxial positive crystal uniaxial positive crystal is the quartz crystal here r1 is greater than r2 therefore mu o refractive index of that of ordinary ray is uh, less than the refractive index for that of extraordinary ray or in other words we can say the velocity of that of ordinary ray is greater than that of velocity of that of extraordinary ray so we can say the ordinary ray the ordinary ray travels faster than the or extraordinary ray extra ordinary ray within such crystal within such crystal we observe the velocity of ordinary ray is greater than that of velocity of extraordinary ray so here uh, these are the observations we see in case of polarization by double refraction that was observed by the scientist bartholinius in 1969 this one with the observation by him by using that observation the phenomenon of uh, double refraction and how we achieve polarized light from that of double refraction can be easily understood mathematical analysis of double refraction in case of calcite crystal and quartz crystal so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session thank you